there, so keeping your chest open, abs pulled in, neutral head and push your knees out and in. Not a huge movement, you'll see her sideways, belly pulled in as you left feet flat against the floor. Lateral lunges, step out, lean forward as you squat it down on that leg that you're stepping out with. Now don't go too wide because you want to make sure that you can come back using that leg that you just used to step out with. You're pushing through that heel and here you see toes, knee, ankle of that stepping out leg are pointing straight. You will lean forward for this but maintain tight abs and belly pulled in at the whole time and neutral head so you keep looking down. Hi hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. <laughs> As you guys just saw, I did my workout for today. And it almost took me out. I am tired. So I started this training. Actually, I did a trial with this lady um, from Instagram and I really enjoyed the workout. I did it for like a week. And yeah, I wasn't too sure about joining, um, but once I did the week, I was like, okay, I think this is something that I can do. Um, she has two packages. I picked the one that's um, affordable for my budget, and I started today. So first workout, let me show if I can. I was trying to show you earlier, but those are the exercises that I had to complete today. So curtsy lunges, three sets, uh, three reps of uh, 15, um, and then and it's, uh, three reps of every exercise. So we, I started with curtsy lunges, hip thrust, um, hip abductors, and then lunges, more lunges, more hip thrusts, and uh, leg squats. So I basically started the day with everything that I do not enjoy when working out. And um, yeah, you guys saw in the start of the video that I am also starting to get back to this um, detox. It's basically just warm water and lime juice. So that should help me flush out all the toxins before I get my day started. I'm very tired. I brought this belt down to help me sweat but clearly I didn't need that um, it worked out pretty good um, without it so yeah I was doing the work I am super tired I'm now hungry but I'm also trying to do better with my um, eating hubby is away so this is when I thrive <laughs> in my healthy eating because now that grocery shopping, something that I do not like to do, is now all on me, I'll be buying just what we need. <laughs> He's the one who will go out and buy all the snacks and everything else um, that we need and don't need. So me, I stick to the budget. You guys may have seen this over on Instagram. This blender thing, I've had it for about two weeks now. It's just been sitting in the corner because I ordered the gray one. I wanted to break up like the black appliances that I have. So I was like, you know, let me just get a gray one. But uh, I'm not sure. As you can see, it's still in the packaging. It's still not like unwrapped. So our, what do you call it? Our Nutribullet broke after having it for a lot of years it broke um, it just literally just stopped working one day um, and then I had like a cheapy one like blender that I had bought from Walmart that broke as well so I was like you know what let me just get a new one they had a sale um, I think for Memorial weekend so <laughs> I took advantage of that sale and got me this but now I'm like, do I really want the gray one or should I get the black? But I also don't want to go through the trouble of returning and waiting for the other one to come. So I don't know. I'm going to at least call and see if I can return it. And then they just like exchange this for the black. If not, then I'll just hold on to it and 
use it. I mean, it's not bad. I haven't opened it up, so I don't know how it looks like in real life, but I kind of don't want to open it just yet. Um, I want to find out if I could just get it exchanged instead of returning it and buying it again, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so today is Monday. It is the day after Juneteenth. I didn't do anything that day. Um, we ate and I slept and I watched television. I just wanted to like rest. So that's what I did. Today I need to do some stuff in my studio. So I've been working on that. That's a project that I've been working on that I haven't shared with you guys, but it's about, I wanna say 80% complete. There are some pieces that I need to decide on. I haven't decided on like a desk chair. I'm trying to decide if I want to put like a love seat in there. I'm not sure. Um, I got the majority of um, the IPAX pieces, but there's just two frames that I need. Um, I need the medium size, that's the 29 inch um, width one, and then I need the 19, which is where I'm gonna put all my shoes. The 29 inch is where I'm gonna have like a nice little aesthetic top part, and then the bottom part I'm gonna put like some drawers but the drawers that I want those are out of stock right now so I'm kind of debating what I want to do if I because I already have the 29 inch frame I have to like build it out and put it in um, I just haven't done that yet because the website doesn't say when those um, drawers are going to become available and I need those <laughs> to basically complete that section the shoes is fine because i don't have a lot of shoes and i'm already looking at like replacements or something that i can use instead of that small frame but i kind of want that frame <laughs> if you, you know just to keep it like consistent so I'm, I'm not sure what i'm gonna do for that that's why i haven't shared it with you guys yet but once it's complete i think that's when i'll share it you guys have seen like a glimpse of it, like me doing my get ready with me, um, but it's it's not complete. It's not complete. Um, I was able to get all my clothes out of the closet and store what I need to store in the actual like closet and store my clothing item and my clothing items and my boots in dye packs. So all the clothes that you see are all the clothes that I where to like go out I have another like chest of drawer where I have like six drawers and those are just like sleepwear my just like regular everyday wear in those drawers my workout clothes and some hair stuff um, in those drawers and that's in our master bedroom but where I get dressed to go out all of my items are in my studio so a slash studio dress room content room like it's, it's a lot of stuff but yeah i am rambling with you guys i am this was basically my cool down <laughs> i am going to come back if not today you guys will see me tomorrow oh let me mention this workout fit because i'm really impressed with it i think i'm gonna get a couple more colors i love this green this this shade of green is my favorite color more like a kiwi i like it see that see how that's wet so i got it from target so if you're interested in this um set i will link it below for you guys also if you're interested in this as well i will link it for below for you guys um you can actually get it on amazon so but i didn't buy it on amazon because the discount was on the site you could only get the discount when you purchase it from um the site so but it was shipped from amazon it's weird but yeah all right guys so this is what i'm having for breakfast lunch brunch um <laughs> I first had some coffee and um, after I worked out I you know I cooled down a bit had some coffee and I had one slice of these rice cakes these are really really good 
super surprised, but I'm enjoying these. I think I'm gonna get some more flavors. I think I saw they have like white cheddar and they're only 50 calories per slice. So I'll be getting into that. And this is what I'm having for <laughs> brunch. So I'm having the granola, I'm having strawberries, blueberries, and I can't find a like Greek yogurt that I like. I actually never like bought Greek yogurt for the house. Um, so I'm just using what I have until I figure out what will taste good. But this is the finished product. Looks really nice. I'm going to enjoy. All right, so let's try it. I'm using my left hand. Let's see how it tastes. I'm sure it'll taste good. Let's see. So I finished the strength training part of my workout. Now I'm doing about 20 minutes of a like brisk walk. And I decided to do that outside. I was gonna do it inside, but it's cool outside. It's actually, I think, about to rain. Like I could smell it in the air. <laughs> I don't know if that's a Caribbean thing, but yeah, I could smell the rain. I'm gonna come, so hopefully I'm able to complete my walk before it starts to rain and um, complete my workout for the day but yeah i am around my community of course i'm not going to show that because <laughs> safety <laughs> um but yeah i am walking towards like a main road and i'm going to go uphill because you know inclines are always good to help the body work and burn that extra fat so I'm about to head up the incline. That's the road I'm walking on. And yeah, I'm recording from my phone because I don't want to bring my big camera and the battery actually died this morning. So I'm just using my phone to record this part of the vlog. It's actually really cool, so I'm happy. I'm glad that I decided to do my walk out here I'm about <laughs> three minutes almost four minutes in so uh, I'm just gonna go up to halfway of this road and then um, come back and then walk around my community to um, finish the walk and then after that actually I think I need to check the mail so I'll do that and then get home, take a shower, and I have some emails that I need to send that I was supposed to prepare last night, but I didn't because I was up watching what basketball was. Yeah, distractions. But yeah, I'll pick you guys back up. I'm home. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna make oatmeal. Um, and I also need to go to Target today, so I'll take you guys along for that. Okay guys, I'm back, I'm not home. <laughs> this walk from my house to where I'm at now took me almost 11 minutes. So I'm gonna walk to the end here and just turn around and then head back home and actually complete my cardio for the day. And also guys, you know that you haven't been working out when you're walking and you can feel that sting in your legs. Like I can feel <laughs> the stings like in my thigh is like so bad. Like I wanna scratch my leg so bad. <laughs> but yeah. See you guys when I get home. Hey guys, so I'm back, I'm showered, I'm clean. I'm about to prepare breakfast. Um, so I'm gonna have, this is how the oats look dry 
And this is my first time trying this out. It's the Kodiak. I think that's how you say it. 14. Oh, well, you see it. Um, so I'm gonna add some almond milk. I like using the Almond Breeze brand with the vanilla. They say to use like a third, but I'm just gonna eyeball it. All right, so I'm just gonna pour this. I'm not gonna add anything to it. Just mix it in and I'm gonna put it in the microwave, which they say to do that for 30 to 45 seconds. So let's do that. Alright, so it's in there for 30 seconds. I'm going to cut some strawberries, add some blueberries. I wish I had banana, but this is what I'm going to have. I'll probably pick up some bananas when I go to Target later. All right, so let me put these away. Okay guys, so this is the consistency that I get after um, three 30 seconds intervals. I hope it tastes good. Anyways, I'm gonna add the berries and the strawberries. So let me just put the strawberries in first. Oh, let's have a stem on it. Doing this perfect, but you get the gist. All right, let's see how this tastes. actually really good and I didn't put any sugar or anything added besides the fruits and it's actually really good for the win all right the test is how long it will keep me full <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna eat and then I'll come back when I'm going to Target So I am back from Target. I'm gonna quickly show you what I got from the store. And I'm not showing my face because I look like crap, but um, I picked up a few more um, rice cakes. So I got various flavors. So I got the everything, like the everything bagel flavor. I got white cheddar, which I think I'm gonna enjoy. And then I also picked up the lightly salted ones. So got those I really need some healthy snacks to keep me on track I picked up some lightly salted roasted almonds and also in this bag I needed some combs I actually went to Sally's first and probably should have just gone to Target um, got all these combs I don't need all of these but um, there's a couple in there that I'll need so Price point wise wasn't too bad and then I got this hair dress because my hair gets really dry and I needed something that's going to help it stay moisturized but not like weighed down so I'm going to try this out. I also picked up some of this speckling thing. I'm going to do a DIY. You guys may see that later on sometime and I thought this color, you guys know how much I'm loving orange, I thought this color was cute. And it's an easy wrap. This I can wear like while I'm working out or just 
lounging around when I don't feel like combing my hair. And then in this bag, I have some more healthy stuff. So I got some cantaloupe slices. I love cantaloupes. I also picked up some mango spheres. I love mangoes, especially like this type. And I picked up some bananas so I can have with my oatmeal tomorrow morning. And some broccoli to add to the dinner that I'm gonna make in a bit. And then I put a poll out on my Instagram yesterday for suggestions on like Greek yogurt and I picked up a few. Um, so I first got this one called Fag. This one. So yeah, I'm gonna see how this goes with my yoga bowl. And then I'm also gonna try this one out. I think it's called Okio's strawberry one. This was the only one they had at Target, so I'm gonna try that out. Got two of those, and I also picked up this one um zero sugar strawberry flavor because i love strawberry and that was everything that i picked up from target oh nope i also got this stand <laughs> that i'm gonna put in on the bathroom counter on my side i have a lot of like my skincare like out and also like my stuff that i do for my hair so i'm just gonna put this on top Put all my skincare on this level and then just tuck all my hair stuff underneath so it can look a little bit tidy. Um, so yeah. That was everything. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so it's Thursday. I been finished. I've worked for about two hours now, but I've been going through some paperwork um, that I needed to like get done. So I'm, fin I'm finished with that for the moment, but I, I got some packages like a while ago and I wanted to share those with you guys. We're gonna do a little bit of a haul. And um, the first is Zara. I did order some more stuff, but those should be between um, here and now or tomorrow. So this was the first um, item that I picked up. It's like um, a bralette crop top situation. Let me see. I don't know why I looked on it because it doesn't really say it doesn't say what it is. But it's like a bralette. I like the gold details. Um, I haven't tried it on so I'm not sure how it's going to look. And depending on how I feel once I put it on, I may keep it. I may not. We'll see. Um, this item I really like it's another crop top but I like like the uh, nautical um, thing that's going on and it has these strings that you can just wrap around your waist and I plan on wearing these with high-waisted pants so it won't be showing that much skin and probably like with a blazer or something the weather outside is really gloomy today so that's why it looks a bit dark in here that's those then i also got some items from sephora that i opened the box already because i wanted to make sure i got all my stuff um i wanted to try this topical cream it's from it's called faded you guys see how my face is just been very spotty so I got the small one, or maybe this is how it's supposed to look, I don't even know. It's um, brightening and clearing serum, so I'm hoping it helps with all these post acne marks. My skin is not that bad, but it could be better, so I'm going to see if this helps. I repurchased um, my favorite sunscreen. Sunscreen, it's the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. 40 SPF. I am actually running out of that. <laughs> so I needed to re up before that's done. And then I needed a foundation for the summer. So I picked up this one from Lancome. I haven't used this one in years, to be quite honest. But I saw um, I Know Lee, Helicia from I Know Lee 
um, using this and I, it reminded me why I love it so much. I used to use this a lot when I lived in the Virgin Islands. This was like the foundation that I used because it was always hot and this always like looked really good on me. It looked like skin. I like my foundations to like match match. So this match match. Hopefully it still does. It has been a while. And it also has like SPF in it, like 15 broad spectrum and I got it in the shade 510 suede C and I like that these have like the expiration date on the back so it tells you um so this one I have until October 2003 to use it if I'm not done with it by then um so really love this I'm not gonna spray it out because my skin is like sweaty from working out so this is really good so this will be my summer foundation um because it's been really hot today is an exception it's 67 because we had literally a thunderstorm yesterday and it's still pretty gloomy outside so the temperature is really really good <laughs> it's perfect to be outside but i don't like to be outside when it's raining so yeah and then you guys know how much i love this spray it's the uh, Sol Janeiro Brazilian Crush, and it's in the scent um, Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit. This is the biggest size that they have. This is the 8 fluid ounce. It's definitely worth it, guys. It is worth it. The one that I have is almost done. I'm going to keep that bottle and um, just pour... <laughs> pour some of that over in this well in that one so like I can like I probably won't even do that but it's really good for traveling you guys saw that I took it with me when we went to New York and I really love the scent this is the perfect scent for summer it's just really really good and I love when you guys share um, the things that I influence you to buy when you tag me on your Instagram stories. And so far, a few of you have tagged me on this. And I'm so happy that you guys love it. I love it. I'm obsessed. I'm literally obsessed. <laughs> and I think that's all that I got from Sephora. I do see some other things that I want to pick up. I want to try the um, Fenty detoxifying clay mask and um i also want to try a lip butter from summer fridays and a few more fragrances that i have my eye on for the next coming months so we'll see how that goes um and then the last item well, i actually have another item that i want to show you guys so this item i got from chelsea Bilari, I think that's how you say her name, but she's on Instagram and she shared this um, set. She has like her own like online boutique, and I saw this color and I just, I just, I just had to. I love like this pea green color. I got it in a size. I want to say I got it in a large. The size is not in here um so i don't know but she has like her label in here i love that the quality is really good it's soft i'm really excited to wear this so love the color so i got it in the set i'm probably gonna do like a dedicated like summer haul video so i think i'll try to record that sometime on the weekend okay so i got a medium in both pieces i think but as you can see the waist is super stretchy the material is stretchy itself and i think this is going to be super cute so this is a popular trend like this um i think it's the police piece. it's like super fine pleating in uh, the look in in the in the material and they like other sites have these selling they have like orange they have like the Kelly green they have 
all types of colors i have one in brown that i got from nasty gal but i think i'm gonna sell it i've only worn it like one time inside i'm gonna sell that and another item that i haven't worn in years but i just have up there it's from zara i took it on our new york trip but i still didn't wear it <laughs> um but i think it's time to get rid of it but anyways i'll try this on in an upcoming video so stay tuned for that i think i'm gonna go have me a smoothie and then take a shower because i need to i'm sorry if this vlog is all over the place today i'm not feeling 100 so that's why i probably look the way i look but um yeah i haven't combed my hair in about a week <laughs> and i washed it but i didn't do anything with it and um i need to get up this funk that i'm in i'm in a slight funk but we all have those days i'm sure